So, welcome to a new video. It's a new video. We're on our way to pick up Lawrence's car because after I got my car, he was so jealous that my car was all black that he needed to get his car all black as well because Lawrence has the Tesla model three, three? and it had like silver details like the, the Tesla's logo and like things around the window so he wanted to make them black so we're picking up the car now and then we both have all blacked out cars yeah all blacked out cars Whoa. Okay, everything is black now, like all the details around the window and the, um, how you open the car and also the logo front, you can barely see it anymore but it's right there, so it's like mine, so he's happy. What up? You happy? Happy, really happy. <laughs> okay, let's make some dinner. Look at the chef. What are you making tonight? We are having a curry Yeah. with chicken and uh, baby corn, mm -hmm. some rice. Some veggies, cauliflower, and some beans. nuts. Oh, cashew nuts. Yum, yum, yum. Doesn't look as good in the camera though, but. Uh. <laughs> oh, delicious. Mmm. Oh. Nice. Good morning. Today it's Saturday and it's a little bit of a rainy day today. But I just received a package that I thought would be fun to unbox together. Some might think it's interesting, some of you probably not because it's a lot of baby stuff. See what we got here. I requested some items but they added some extra stuff. But this is the thing that I really wanted because it seems very convenient. It's like a baby cook where you can put the vegetables in and it has a button to steam the vegetables and then you turn it or it's another button and it purees it so you have super quick healthy baby food then we got a blanket all right this is warms bottles and food jar oh and it sterilizes bottles and bottle parts so apparently you can either sterilize your bottles or you can warm your food if you put it on there it looks like this this a meal set with suction pads oh that's nice so you can like suck it on the table so they can throw it off the table then a book with my first meals that you can all make with the baby cook that i showed at first so that's very nice and then more glass containers where you can save the purees in. Good morning guys. So today I'm driving for the first time by myself. I'm going to Amsterdam. So it's a 45 minute drive for an interview with the Dutch folk. And I'm a little nervous, but Lawrence couldn't come. So there has to be a first time that I'm trying it by myself. So I'm going there now and then it will probably take an hour and then I'll drive back and hopefully everything goes well. Okay guys, we made it. I was so nervous, but everything went well. The only thing was it was like pouring, so it was raining and I found my window things that go. To clean the windows go very slow and I couldn't find to, how to do it faster. I'm now looking how to park the car. All right, so we're going to the interview now. And we're back home, starving. So hopefully, I think Lawrence is making me some lunch. I think he's making some crackers with avocado and egg and nectarine. I think the interview went well. I'll let you guys know once it's up. I think the plan for the rest of the day, not sure because it's 4.30 now. So I'm gonna discuss with Lawrence and see what he's up to. Look at this. So, how many nectarines is this? <laughs> Just a couple of nectarines. That are five or six. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is gonna be the baby room. Good morning. It's Saturday and I just woke up and did my makeup today. A little eyeliner, what I usually never do. So it took me a while. And Lawrence is making his breakfast because he just came back from the gym. He went to the gym with a friend and now he's making, not sure if it's called breakfast, but I would say brunch. Brunch. So let's see what he's doing. I have some tuna, rice, peas, and organic eggs. And coconut, some coconut aminos. aminos. It's a high protein meal for after your workout, right? 
exactly get Romy. Okay, meanwhile, I already had my breakfast. I had my overnight oats. So I'm gonna make myself a matcha right now. I only do it since a week because I was a little afraid in the beginning to drink any caffeine. And now I'm actually using just half a teaspoon. So it's 37 grams of caffeine. And they say you should limit up to 200 milligrams. So it's far from the limit. And I keep it that way. I only take one matcha a day. So, so yeah. And I'll show you guys how I make it. So this is the matcha that I'm using from New York, from the place Matcha Full. Have a teaspoon in there. It's like a very little amount. I put it in here, as you can see, and I mix it with a little bit of hot water. Then usually they do it with like one of those bamboo whisks, but I just bought something to foam the milk with, like a milk foamer. And I go like this. Then I'm adding some ice cubes in here, pour the matcha in there. Mm. I'm adding some Oatly, the barista one, because I feel like that one is the most creamy. Not all the way to the top, but just a little bit. And then I fill it to the top with water. Oops. A little too much. And that's my matcha. Oh, but what's happening here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it doesn't look so good on camera. Okay. Film the result? No, because I wasn't so proud of the way it looks. No. <laughs> but it's, um, yeah, I add some avocado as well. It's really, I believe it's really healthy, but, and it doesn't look so good, but it's actually quite tasty. You don't oh. want cashew nuts in there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lawrence is practicing. Yeah. 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 Hey, Cora. Ik is dat dan? Ik ook. Ik ook. Good morning, guys. We're on our way because Lawrence has a little pickleball tournament. I think it's called pickleball in the US. Many people yeah, come in it. Yeah, Padel. Padel. Pedal. Pedal. He gave himself up with a friend for like a little fun tournament thing. So he has a match today and then next weekend. But it's pouring rain. So this morning every half hour it was like, oh it's cancelled. No, oh, it's still going on. So now we're on our way and it's pouring. So hopefully once we get there it's, it's still going to happen. And I'm gonna go cheerlead. Yay! <laughs> Look who has arrived. Coming to watch the pedal came with me. So this is the padel game that he's playing all the time. <laughs> hey guys, we're in Amsterdam because we're shooting some photos for PS. But also some for nature, so Lawrence is organizing the Jewy. Right, Lawrence? Hello. And he got his professional light with him, so we can take a nice photos. And I'll show you guys a little what we got now. We just shot this one and the two rings that I really like combined. And I also really like this one because it fits with everything. Just gives you a little, a little bit of sparkle. And then, so here you can see a little what we're shooting today. This one I've been wearing a lot and honestly, it's almost sold out. This one I really like, it's a cross necklace that they can combine with the cross earrings. The safety pin earrings in silver and gold. The heart earrings. The necklace that says love and the rope necklace. And I think, no, I like them all, but I really, really like those. <laughs> nice, very nice. You look handsome. For the people wondering, does Lawrence organize all the jewelry himself? He does not. I help him. Right? What? If you, or if you, if you choose all the jewelry yourself. You always show it to me and then you're like, what do you like? Do you like this better or that better? And then I help pick um, yes. and select. 
some items. So that's, that's very fun for me. It's my job right now since we're not modeling at the moment. Creative director. We just got home and we got a delivery from our favorite cereal. Are you happy? I am so happy. It's like a healthier version of cereal. This one is cacao. I think that's my favorite. And then I think this one is cinnamon. Lawrence doesn't really like the cinnamon. And this one I think is honey. Woohoo! We're not getting paid for this, but this is amazing. Yeah, it's just our favorite snack at night after dinner. <laughs> no, yeah. this is not how it's gonna work. This is mine. It is yours. No, I yeah. asked. You asked them for cinnamon. I just said I like the cacao the most. Yeah, but you asked them for I cinnamon. I get one cacao. I only want chocolate and honey. No. Okay, we're gonna do it even. Cinnamon is nice too. Cinnamon is, cinnamon is nice too. But not so nice. No, cinnamon is nice too, guys. If you like cinnamon, order yourself some cinnamon. But if you wanna know what's the real deal, it's these two, mother. Hello, hello, hello. I just got a delivery where I'm very excited for to unbox. I'll show you guys what it is. <gasps> Schrik me dood, man. <laughs> oh, See what wow. it is? it's gonna be chocolate. My favorite from New York and I was missing it so much because it's from the brand new no, kitchen. No, it's my favorite from New York. And, um, it's my favorite from New York. I asked them to send it because they usually don't really ship international. But they sent it over a box so I can have my favorite chocolate. And... Let's see what's in the box. Oh, guys, let's see what's in the box. <laughs> Tell the people what's in there. How excited are you? On uh, a scale of one to ten. You hold guys. the camera and I'm oh. gonna get it out. No, you hold the camera and I'm gonna get it out. Oh, there was ice in there, but it's not cold water. Chocolate cover almonds with sea salt. Those were your favorite, babe. Yes! Chocolate cover cashews vanilla bean. Again, the same. This is the magic box. This is my all-time favorite, the almond butter puffed quinoa. But this one is very nice too, the hazelnut butter. I think they've sent us my two favorites. I'm gonna put those in the fridge, keep them nice and cold, and so we can have a little piece of chocolate tonight. High five. Good morning, it's Monday morning and we just came back from the gym. This weekend we had a pretty chill weekend where we played games, had friends, I did some family. It was a nice but chill weekend. We just came back from the gym and I think Lawrence is going to get take a cold shower. He's doing it lately for three minutes non-stop. Every time he's in the shower he makes weird noises. So I thought let's try to record it. <laughs> Monday, so I'm gonna try to eat a little healthier this week because the weekend I ate so unhealthy like everything you can probably think of we ate like yesterday I had three magnums and you're probably thinking like how can you have three magnums in one day but I don't know either they were very delicious and I enjoyed it so I'm not feeling guilty or anything but this morning when I woke up I had such a hard time waking up and dry mouth and like my eyes were so swollen so I was like okay we gotta go get back on track and eat a little healthier just to feel better and have more energy because I was also very tired yesterday so I'm gonna make smoothie or oatmeal I think I'll make some oatmeal because it will probably give me more fuel fuel how was it? Cool. Do you feel fresh? No, it feels good. It feels really good. Are you awake? 
Huh? Ready for a new week? Yes. Ready for a new week. And guys, did Romeo already show you? We got some bikes. We think there are bikes in there. We have to check. But that would be fun because then we can bicycle together. We can bicycle together. And we can also film that. And we can put it in the vlog and people can watch us bicycle together. True Holland. True Holland. Maybe we can see some cows, huh? Yeah. We can milk some cows on the way. <laughs> You're such a handyman, eh? Right. But, yeah. Orange is making the dresser for the baby room. So we finally started today to do something about the baby room. This is um, a rug that I got for the room. And here's a bunch of other stuff that I'll show you guys later, but everything is still in boxes. And today we're setting up the dresser. Exciting. Doesn't look very tasty, but today for lunch I made some tempeh with sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, peppers, rucola, have an avocado and hummus dressing. That's it. And right when you finish the dresser finally after a couple hours, and the box, a bicycle arrives. So you have to put together yourself. <laughs> uh, do it self. Uh... Bike. <laughs> Bike. Oh, oh, oh. And now I'm getting ready real quick for dinner because our friend Maud, not sure if you guys know her, but she's been in a vlog before. But they're coming to see her new apartment and then we're going for dinner. But I always hate it if I didn't wear makeup all day and I didn't do anything about myself because I was cleaning the apartment and organizing the baby stuff. So I just had to put it on. I mean, I didn't have to, but I only did it for dinner and I always hate that because then I feel like it's just for a couple hours. It always takes a little bit to take it off. I always take very big parts because then the girls are very big and loose and then I brush them out. And then once I curl it, I add some dry shampoo to get a little more volume. And then I might brush it out a little more. We finished the dresser, but I think it's more fun to show the baby room once everything is done. Because there still has to be a lot done. But today I organized the clothes to see if I have, like, to count how much I have of everything in every size. And what I'm missing. And I make a little list. So now I know what I still have to get. I'll show you guys later once the room is done. But it makes me so excited to, like, see all those clothes and, yeah. Good morning! We're on our way to Amsterdam because we have a couple appointments today. And the first one is with Klaver Health. It's, um, it's a place in Amsterdam where they make healthy smoothies and have like supplements. And we did a test there with our blood and they are checking all our vitamins and minerals if we have everything. And then they give you supplements if you need. So that's very interesting, especially now pregnant. I wonder if I get enough of every vitamin and Lawrence is doing the same. Maybe something is coming out of it for his stomach or foods that he's sensitive to. So it's very interesting. And then after I'm gonna do some Pilates at Casey Move. And then we got a 3D, 4D ultrasound. And hopefully we will be able to see her face because usually she's with her face hiding. So we tried a couple times to make it 3D, but it wasn't possible. So hopefully today it's working out. That won't be fun. And I think at the end of the day, we're going back to our place. So yeah. Lunch time. Yeah. Good morning guys. I'm in the car because I'm on my way to fix my nails because tomorrow I have a folk shoot and I got this B up nails. I think it's a particular gel now. Some of my nails came off so I have to fix it to make sure it looks okay for tomorrow. And it's actually the first pregnancy shoot I'm doing since a while. So I'm excited and I wonder how that's gonna be. And this morning I worked out but I had literally no energy so I felt like I could have stayed home better but it's always good to do a little movement so 
it's better than nothing and then what i'm up to the rest of the day is i have to learn for the first aid course that we're doing on saturday with lawrence's sister and lawrence and her husband and it's first aid for kids and babies so i think it's very useful uh, hopefully we never have to use what we learn but it's better to know so it's four to six hours of theory that we have to learn so that's what i'm gonna do this afternoon then we have to pass the test and then on saturday it's the all the practical stuff so it's um four hours of like real life stuff like practi practical i think that's how you call it theory and practical and then um, you have to pass the test again so it's a lot of work but we're gonna be happy once we maybe need it and yeah that's the planning I'm gonna put the camera away because i'm still not a professional driver but it's getting better and better i'm, I'm more comfortable on my own so yeah it's great hey so i wanted to show you guys quickly what i got from the place that we went to in amsterdam when we checked our blood and our how do you call it our stool stool Yes. So we got the results and it checked our blood and our sensitivities to food and then also because I also have the eczema so I wanted to make sure that what I'm eating is right and then also they did an advice plan. So it looks a little like this. So here on the top you see some blood things where you can check all the vitamins and I was actually pretty good on all the vitamins. So nothing to worry there. Then my vitamin D is a little low, so I have an extra vitamin D supplement. And then here we go to the food sensitivities. And unfortunately my eggs, chicken eggs. the chicken eggs got very high. So they recommended me to not eat it for a year because it was at a very high level so it could give me eczema but also could make me feel yeah not my best so i don't i have to skip it for a year what i'm very sad about because i love avocado toast with an egg and then next to the egg is almonds and i actually drink almond milk i eat a lot of almonds but i also eat almond butter so it's a little yeah. bit of a change for me so but it's this, very interesting if this one were to be uh one or two it wasn't it wasn't it, that bad yeah but it's a five so that means that you're almost in the allergic phase yeah um and then it's harder to go back uh, and now i can still be able to eat eggs and almonds later if i don't eat it for a year i put on my glasses otherwise i can't read it and then on the meat and dairy and most fruits i'm fine so it was not a lot of like food sensitivities luckily and then i also got another report where they checked their stool so that was also very interesting to see so they made a little advice plan for me and for lawrence and there they wrote down what kind of supplements you have to take and when and also what kind of foods is important to eat for us so i have to eat a little bit more of like shrimps and all the shell and shellfishes shellfishes Wow. Um, and no eggs, no almonds for a year. A couple of other recommendations. So that was very interesting. So we're gonna do that both now. Lawrence is gonna do it mostly for his stomach and I'm just gonna do it for whatever and see if we feel- More any, energized. More energized. So let's see if and we more feel healthy. any better soon. Yeah. Not that we feel not good, but you always wanna optimize it. So yeah, that was very interesting. interesting. So if you're in Amsterdam, Go to Claverham. And then I also think it's going to be the end of the video. The end? Yeah. It is already the end. It's already the end. Maybe, wait, um, wait. Maybe we can come up with some more uh, content. No, we'll put that in the next video. And we were actually thinking of doing our next video Dutch. And then maybe oh. do the subtitles in English. Maybe some people of you don't like it. But we want to give it a try. So yeah. And also, should we edit? English subtitles in the next video. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Or do you have to upload it without subtitles and then add the subtitles later? So I don't know how that works. Maybe if some of you are watching that know how this works, how to add subtitles to your video in the correct way, let it know in the comments because we'll read them and we'll use the information. Use the information All right, for guys. our benefit, but also yours. <laughs> yep, bye.